हवा बहेगी उज्जवल उज्जवल होगा कोना कोना निर्मल होगा विश्व कहेगा जय भारत जाग उठेंगे भाग्य हमारे स्वच्छ बनेगा ये Tiruchirappalli's corporation was facing several problems in the collection of solid waste. It was a difficult and cumbersome process to monitor an area of over 167 square kilometers across 65 wards and four zones. What made matters even more difficult was that all the records had to be updated manually Naturally with this handicap the officials did not have an accurate picture of the efficacy of waste collection in the city The situation was grave before Trichy Corporation came up with the solution to transform solid waste management in the city In April 2014 Tiruchirappalli or Trichy in Tamil Nadu introduced a novel initiative under which it used information and communication technology or ICT for cost effective management of collection and transportation of municipal solid waste from across the city to the final dumping yard in Ari Mangalam The initiative has resulted in substantial improvement in the cleanliness of the city and financial accountability along with optimized utilization of vehicles being used to collect waste Trichy has a population of over 9 lakhs and a population density of over 5400 persons per square kilometer. The city generates about 436 tons of waste each day of which 416 is collected. In 2016 the city of Trichy was listed as the third cleanest city in India under the National Urban Sanitation Policy. This was achieved through a careful combination of administrative and political will, technological innovation and effective implementation. Crucially, the administration put in place a system for financial accountability to make its waste management system transparent and accountable. The use of ICT technology was brought in to establish a systematic approach towards monitoring waste collection and transportation. This enabled the civic body to analyze routes for garbage collection and to monitor the performance of solid waste management. To implement ICT, the corporation equipped the control room in the compost yard at Arya Mangalam with a computer, printer and other peripherals. Network connectivity was established through broadband internet connection and a 3G data card was provided as a backup. Uh, we have analyzed uh, various uh, solutions like uh, GPS, GPRS and RFID solutions. Among these we have chosen RFID solution because of uh, zero operational cost and uh, project cost is very minimum comparable with other solutions. 
A long-range ultra-high radio frequency identification reader was installed adjacent to the way bridge at the compost yard and all waste transportation vehicles were fitted with tamper-proof radio frequency identity or RFID tags. Earlier, the entries were done manually. For the drivers, it was a huge problem. Now, with RFID, we give them slips. It shows how many trips they have made in the entire day, so that it's easier for them to keep a record. A Waybridge automation software was deployed, which identifies vehicles, acquires Waybridge data automatically and sends it to the corporation data server in real time. Three CCTV surveillance cameras were installed at the compost yard that could be monitored from the corporation's main office control room and the commissioner's chamber. And the drivers and staff were trained about the system and the instruments installed the RFID instruments installed in the vehicles. When a vehicle enters the compost yard, parameters like vehicle number, in time, trip number, weight, type of garbage collected, area, driver name and other details are captured. The weight is verified against the maximum load. After unloading the garbage, the empty vehicle is again weighed and an out time and weight is captured. A trip for a vehicle is taken into account only when out is marked for a vehicle. Morning from 6 a.m. to the drivers are coming and take, take their vehicles and go their field. They are collecting uh, secondary, uh, secondary collection. Uh, they are using, we give you manpower and they are going to certain spots and uh, come to compost yard and uh, dump here. Uh, they are, uh, we are recording in time and out time also. Uh, uh, per day, uh, different vehicles we are using, uh, tippers and other uh, compactors we are using. Uh, uh, tippers, uh, daily three trips are uh, they are uh, uh, working. Uh, compactor, other vehicles, six or seven trips they are uh, uh, working. Once the technology was in place, the corporation started to sensitize its staff, including the drivers who were involved in the process. It first defined the roles and responsibilities of the staff involved in the process. The corporation keeps a tab on the functioning of the system through automated SMSs that are sent to the designated officials at every 25th trip made by a vehicle. Daily reports are analysed on a regular basis and appropriate action is taken based on the findings. After the implementation of ICT, the optimum utilisation of vehicle is going on and there is a reduction of trips of vehicles. The Information Communication Technology or ICT helped the corporation in improving its efficiency by identifying underutilized vehicles, using various parameters and taking steps to improve their performance, studying area-wise waste collection shortages, taking appropriate actions to improve collection efficiency. The immediate changes that were seen after implementation of ICT include improvement in service delivery mechanism and better information management, before the implementation of ICT, waste collection and transportation was recorded manually, making it very difficult to track non-compliance of the trip schedules. Unwanted trips were reduced. Utilization of vehicles was enhanced. After the introduction of ICT, we are getting enough time and we are able to collect more waste. We are now efficiently being able to cover the entire area for waste collection. As a result, the project's benefits have reached 
about 10 lakh residents in the 65 wards of the Tiruchirappalli City Municipal Corporation. With vehicles being monitored in real time to improve per vehicle productivity, the corporation has seen a 33% reduction in trips with a corresponding increase in the collection efficiency for the same amount of garbage lifted. Fuel consumption decreased to 23% and there was a marked improvement in traffic congestion with 60 fewer trips. This resulted in substantial savings for the corporation. To make internal communication and work turnaround faster, every officer has been provided with a walkie-talkie which is controlled from the corporation's headquarters. The commissioner communicates with his sanitary staff and other field officials from his chamber whenever required. Clearly, the corporation has used technology to help Trichy become one of the cleanest cities in the country. Trichy cleans its roads and markets every night, including the Gandhi market, which is one of the largest generators of waste. The waste is also collected from restaurants and other commercial complexes. The cleaning happens on a large scale and the workers are active through the night. Night cleaning is more efficient as the traffic is the least during those hours. These steps result in a cleaner city for the citizens to wake up to every morning. Trichy has also introduced door-to-door -door collection which includes source segregation. The waste is segregated at source in separate bins, which are distributed by the corporation. The waste is then collected in auto tippers and taken to the waste recovery center. The center has a separate dry waste hub and wet waste compost unit. These two units are predominantly run by women. The waste that comes from collection from residential and commercial complexes is segregated once again in the centre. After secondary segregation, it is put on the conveyor belt where it goes through a machine which shreds the waste for further processing. Cow dung slurry is added as a layer on it for finer quality of compost. It is watered on a regular basis. They cover the pit with a tarpaulin so that there is no bad odour in the surroundings. After a few days, the decomposed waste is turned around and another layer of cow dung slurry is added to it. This whole process takes around 40 to 45 days for the compost to get ready. The compost is then handed over to the farmers. This unit has given livelihood to women and made them independent. This is one of the initiatives that make Trichy stand out in the Swachh Bharat mission. The corporation has plans to go bigger with time. There are plans to establish a transfer station on a 5-acre area in the dump yard to process 500 tons of garbage a day for a lasting solution. Trichy received the Scotch Smart Governance Award for achieving operational excellence in waste transportation using information and communication technology in September 2015. Technology adoption in waste management in our country has required both political will and sustained engagement with staff for its efficient usage. Early adopters like the city of Trichy lead the way. It is a practice that must be adopted by other civic bodies in the country for an efficient and streamlined waste management system.